Now, if I have to open a wall up and I have a choice of where that opening can go, well, sometimes I like to cut an inspection hole just to peek inside and make sure there aren't pipes or wires in the wrong place. Here's how I do it so that if it turns out I don't want to open up the wall, I can put this patch back very easily. I cut the opening using a drywall or wallboard saw. You notice it has a very sharp point right here. I'll be holding the saw up not straight, but at a 45 degree angle. By twisting and pushing the saw, the tip will penetrate the wallboard. Using smooth, even strokes, I saw down the first side. At the bottom, I pull the blade nearly out, then twist it 90 degrees and begin cutting the next side. I repeat the process on the remaining sides, making sure to maintain the bevel. Before I finish the final side, I mark the top so I can reorient the piece later. Now one advantage to using the bevel cut is that the piece won't fall inside the wall. And if I have to replace it, well, the repair job is pretty simple. If I need to close up the hole, I apply joint compound to the sides of the opening and the edges of the piece I cut out, which will now become a perfect fitting patch. When the patch is pressed into place, excess joint compound will squeeze out on the back side of the wall. When this dries, it will form a key that will help hold the piece in place. The patch is now slightly lower than the surrounding wall. To correct this, I skim a bit of compound on the face. Then remove the excess with a wider joint knife, leaving the patch flush with the wall. Now I'd let this dry, give it a little sanding, a coat of paint, and you'd never know I'd been in there.